This is a Game Caviar production. All right, Caviars and Caviettes is not happening in the Game Caviar Studios. Can you believe that we are so close to the release of the brand new Halo game, Halo 4? I already, I'm looking at my card that I got from Walmart, the local Walmart, that started doing uh, pre-orders for all of the popular games that are coming out this fall. And what they do is, um, is uh, they give you a gift card. And it's just a regular gift card, but... What's important or what's cool about these gift cards is that each one is uh, designed for the game that is for. And I have a Halo 4 gift card, uh, pre-order slash gift card. And what's also cool is that you can go online and actually link the gift card to your Walmart.com account and put money on it so that when the game is released, you just get in line. They should have a separate line and you just go up there, give them the card, they scan it. And if you have enough money for the uh, the game, then you just go ahead and you get the game and you go home and enjoy yourself. But what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start collecting these cards because, like I said, they are awesome. They look good. And uh, they are something that you could definitely reuse their gift cards. You can just keep reusing them. But... It's more than just it being a gift card. I like the way that they have the designs, and it's something that I personally haven't seen in a... Uh, I haven't seen this through a retailer before or a even anywhere else because uh, GameStop doesn't do it, and Amazon doesn't do it, and those are the only two other retailers that I, I normally go to uh, when I pre-order a game. Now, uh, Best Buy does do pre-orders, and they have a really cool Assassin's Creed 3 display in their store. Uh, I know the local store where I'm at, they have a, a display, and it's actually a, a game case. It's a metal game case. It doesn't say PS3, PC, or Xbox, but it has a, a the armor, I mean, not the armor Core 3, the Assassin's Creed 3 cover on it, and it's really cool. So, I'm guessing when you pre-order with Best Buy, you get to keep that and you know, whatever. Uh, who knows what it has inside of it. I'm kind of curious to go and pre-order the game with them just to see if I, uh, if, if it has anything of use inside of it. But I'm talking about Halo today, and I want to ask you guys, and I want to get a lot of feedback on this. What is your, uh, your favorite memory for Halo? Any Halo game. I remember when uh, Xbox was when Xbox came out and it was Christmas Day and I got my Xbox and I got Halo and I was like man I'm hearing a lot of things about this game it's gonna be awesome I called up my friend he came over and we played that game for hours and in it was just it was different and it was crazy and it was it, it was something that I definitely liked and I played that game a million times it had to have been I mean it seems like uh, I can remember it so vividly, uh, but it was so long ago. And, of course, the other Halo games came and went. Halo 2 was another favorite. I appreciated that game, and I liked that game a lot. Halo 3, I really didn't like that much. Uh, it, it was something about the storyline. It just got really old to me, and I didn't really appreciate it as much as I did the first two. Uh, ODST, a game that is uh, in one of my uh, favorite Halo game slots. I really do appreciate that game because it was different. You didn't play as the uh, the Master Chief that you play in other Halo games. You were just you were somebody else. You were just a, a regular soldier. And I also liked the way that they dropped you into battle. That was really cool. I didn't play Halo Reach, but I've heard nothing but great things about it. I did play Halo Wars, and that was good because that also took it to another level as far as Halo goes. But I want to hear from you guys. What is your fondest Halo memory? What is something that you will never forget about Halo and the series and something that uh, you wish to see in Halo 4? Something that... that uh, they can put in Halo 4 to recreate that great memory or the great feelings that you got from Halo, uh, a past Halo game. Hit me up in the comment box and let, and let me know. Uh, I put up my my second part of 
how to make it on YouTube or how to make YouTube videos. A lot of good information in those two videos. I'm going to put up the third part sometime this week. And I also put up a video where I was asking people to uh, give me your Halo, I mean, not your Halo, your Grand Theft Auto 5 wish list. That video is getting a lot of views. I'm really uh, happy with that. It's gotten about 185 views, and I put it up uh, less than a day ago. So. I really appreciate the love that I'm getting from you guys, and we're still gaining subs. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. We're trying to get to 1,000 subs by the end of the year, and it's something that we definitely can do. All right, I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. Let me know what your uh, favorite Halo memory is, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.